Welcome back everyone. Today I'm at Withensee, Withensee North. The rising tides, the wind is northerly, so it'll be interesting to see how it fishes today. It's a venue I've never fished before. I've always wanted to fish it. Unfortunately, I caught here quite late. I've missed most of the tide. So I'm pretty much about three hours into, well, three hours after high tide, I should say and I know my previous videos the volume has been not too good so I'm hoping the quality on this video is actually going to be a lot better than my previous ones unfortunately I set up and I walked all the way here my camera wasn't recording so I've missed half of my uh, video footage already but not to worry it's going to be a short session today so hopefully a short video but I hope I catch some fish for you guys and it's lovely to be out on the beach again it has been very foggy very misty so i was a bit concerned about me camera equipment getting wet uh, but so far it's been weather's been kind as you can see i'm all dressed up like a teletubby but you know i'd rather be warm than be absolutely freezing especially when i have to travel here one hour 40 minutes to get here but anyway enough of the baffling on i've already set my gear up it's already out like i said unfortunately my video footage didn't record that bit me setting up but the equipment i'll just quickly run that through with you i bought a new tripod because my old tripod was these cups i'd actually broken on my old one so i bought this shakespeare's salt uh, i'm not going to give my opinions on that yet because it's the first time i'm using it uh, so far i don't have any complaints the rods i'm using are tip tornado these are super match graphics models and i'm using the original surf blaster 8000s these are the original ones absolutely great love them reels i'm using 30 pound whiplash braid on these and the leader i'm using is 100 pound whiplash the first casts that i've done have been quite short i've not casted them out really far probably about 20 yards 25 max i'd say i just want to get the braid wet so just to avoid any wind knots right i've just had a massive slack liner and unfortunately has got snagged some sort of a snag there i don't know what it is but i'm gonna have to use this method to pull it out so just get that wrap that around a few turns Hold it and pull it. There we go. Ooh, it's quite snuggy out there. There's something on that, I think. So I just had a massive slack line on one of my rods and unfortunately it got snagged. Um, I don't know how big it was but it, uh, I didn't land it so it don't count which is a shame really because I'd love to know what it was. But anyway back on it again.
Right, so I've just been chatting to one of the guys um, who's fishing a match. Uh, there's a match going on here, that shows why there's so many people using one rod. Um, but yeah, not many people have had anything. There's one guy, one of them groins, he's had one white thing, but apart from that, nothing's come out so far. But anyway. Time for a warm beverage. I'm not actually be watching my rods. I've been messing around with other things, with the camera equipment, with so yeah. So I don't know if I've had any bites, but I did have one massive slack line earlier. Uh, pretty much the line was touching the floor. So I went, I was messing around with the drone at the time. So when I went to strike, I felt some weight. So there was something on, but unfortunately it just hit something big on the bottom, like a rock or something snagged. I had to get the, um, the uh, broom out, broom handle out. Pull it out that way. Managed to get all my gear back. No fish though. So I can only imagine what it was. A cod. <laughs> but yeah, I mean the waves. Not bad. Whoa, that's hot. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. Not fished it before with with and see. Always wanted to try it. Yeah, I actually like this place, it's nice. The beach slopes off quite a bit, so the water's... I'm assuming it's going to be quite deep out there. Once I've had my coffee, I'm going to do a bit of a bait change. You can see I'm dressed up as a Teletubby today. It's a good reason for that. I don't want to travel all the way here and then be cold and then just not be able to fish or be uncomfortable and it's starting to drizzle a bit and, and the benefits of wearing a Teletubby costume is you can just uh, crash out now I can just watch the four bites and just relax come on fishy fishy where are you? right so I'm a bit up Tide's starting to come in now, quite approaching near the top of the slope. And for bait, I've just got squid and mackerel on there. Get that out. Right. And no, I'll wrap it around about three times. Make it how much time, and then there we go. It's holding that now. Pulling it out. Ah, 
I really need to get some casting lessons. Oh God. So I'm using this baiting tool called Baitmate and what I've realised is when you're wrapping this first round like this um, don't make it too tight otherwise you'll struggle getting it off just do it like that, break it off and you can just with your thumb just push it out there we go You can see the hook's all proud. So um, I've got, and just wrap it once more like this. So I've got black on this, I've got squid, I've got a piece of mackerel slitter, and is there any fish out there? I'm hoping they're going to pick this up, they're going to sniff it out. Look how, look how many juices coming out of that. Brilliant. One, two, three, and then I like to have it like this. One hook facing this way, the other hook facing this way. I don't know if this tube makes any difference, but something I'm trying out. I'm going to wash my hands. So it's been quite a difficult session today. Um, not many people have caught. I'm only aware of one whiting to be caught today in Withensee North. Um, but it's a nice venue. I'd fish it again. Yeah, definitely. And if you want to try this venue out, today might not be the ideal conditions to be fair, but don't let that put you off because I've heard this session, this place can produce quite, can produce quite good fish when they're on.
just a quick update. The match finished at four o'clock. People are making their way home now. Spoke to a couple of people that walked past me. They've had like five whiting, both of them. Yeah, it looks like whiting have been getting caught. I've not had any whiting, which is a shame really, but because I do like catching whiting. But that's probably because I'm using big, big baits. I have bulked them up, which obviously is not going to help catching whiting. But, you know, I am targeting the cod today. Whether I'll catch one or not is a different story. But yeah, it's been a good day. Seen a few people walking past. Yeah, people have caught, they've caught whiting. But I did notice earlier when I was talking to one of them, they're using single worms. Uh, smallish hooks, obviously match tactics. So they have been catching whiting. Oh, that's my phone going off. We'll get back to that later. Let's have a look at my rods. I don't know how long I'm going to fish for. I do want to fish a bit longer, but I do have to drive home as well. It's a long drive. Oh, I'm not getting a base. Let's have a look. There's a lot of weed around on the beach. No. Get that rounded line in. Not nice. Oh, I'd say about probably the last hour of the tide. Let me have a look. Right, okay, so high tide at 1640. It's now 1622. 18 minutes left. And today's tide is 5.62 meters. Anything over six on this coast is Quite a big tide. Just having a look, see if I'm getting any bites. So I've got about 18 minutes left till high tide. I'm probably going to fish one hour after high tide. I've got some bait now. My head's nice and cozy. What's this? Oh, it's a light. Right, let's get up from here. Well, I'm pleased to say I have not blanked. Caught a nice white in. It'll get bigger on a night. So, caught that on a panel, pulley panel, 5 0 hook. Yeah, so <laughs> the whiting saves the day. Happy days. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get that one hooked. It's got some right teeth on it. <laughs> Little sh bit meh. And there are some quality whiting on this stretch. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. It's been a hard day's fishing today. In the end, I managed to get three whiting. All three whitings were actually quite decent whiting. But it's been a tough day. Um, a lot of people were saying it's been a tough day. There was uh, quite a few people fishing the competition. They also had whiting as well. Uh, for some reason, I got my whiting towards just after full tide. High tide, I should say. Yeah, I also want to say thank you to the two people that gave me some bait as well. Uh, it's appreciated. Fortunately, we don't have any tackle shops that sell lugworms or blacks where we are. So we have to travel to the coast. And when you're fishing, you know, it's quite a long way to travel. But I just want to say thank you to those two gentlemen that gave me the worms. That's really appreciated. Also, I just want to thank all my subscribers that have subscribed. So thank you so much. And for those of you that haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. It's absolutely free uh, and it helps me out as well. And also, I want to take this opportunity to uh, wish you all uh, a happy Christmas and a happy new year. And all the best, guys, and tight lines.